Hey y'all, how's it going? I am super excited to share with you guys a build I have created, the 100% cooldown reduction build. This build is in the game, legit, able to get. You're not cheating, you're not exploiting the game. This is all within the game, obtainable to you through enchanting and the correct gear. Uh, there's a few things that we will need to do that is mandatory for this build, however. First thing that is mandatory is we will need you. to get the breakthrough point for Daredevil. This is the only required breakthrough point for you to spend. After this, you can, just, if you want to be a mage, you can be a mage with this. If you want, you can be a close combatant out of it. It doesn't matter as long as you take the Daredevil uh, breakthrough point for that 40% uh, cooldown reduction. That is the, one of the most important ones. Second thing that is really important is we also need to join the Soraborians Academy and get Logistics Expert. This will give us another 10% cooldown reduction. The last two things that was required and mandatory is you will need the Scholar's Circlet, and circlet Enchanted with Arcane Unison to get us a to max total of minus 15%, and you'll need either the Ivory Master Staff, the Master Staff, or um, I believe it is a Lightning Staff. It's, it's not as good as these ones. Um, and you will need that to be enchanted with Isolated Rumination, which gives us another 10% cooldown reduction. Um, if you are doing a physical build um, in close combat, you are locked into the Halberd moveset. Good news is, is the Halberd moveset is very good. All right, let's go outside. Now that we're outside, let me show you guys a couple different armor uh, combinations that can work with this build. Uh, so like stated earlier, you need the Ivory Master Staff and the Scholar's Circlet. Those are mandatory for this build. Uh, so make sure you choose a uh, character you don't mind looking at. Uh, and the chest piece and the boots are actually able to be swapped, uh, able to be swapped out for different variants. Uh, for the chest, we have the wolf plate armor that is enchanted with adrenaline. You could either have the shadow kazite light armor, with or without the sleeves. You could use the white arcane robes. You could wear the wolf mage armor, or you could wear the wolf medic armor. Uh, the wolf mage, all the wolf gear is all enchanted with adrenaline, which gives us the 10% that's required for the chest piece. Uh, it's up to you which one we'd want to use for a build. Uh, if you wanted to go the mage route, perhaps you'd want to go white arcane or wolf mage. Doesn't matter. I'll be using the wolf plate armor as the breakthrough skills I got for this character is more leaning towards a physical build than a mage build. Uh, as for the boots, we're left with a little less options. You can either use the runic boots, uh, enchanted with speed and efficiency. The tenebrous boots, which are enchanted with the same. You could equip the shadow Zite light boots. Or, finally, you could enchant the Virgin Boots. Uh, for this, I like just to wear the Runic Boots because they seem to work well with this armor piece. And you know what? The character looks pretty cool. So, let's explain how we get to 100% cooldown reduction. As you guys know, we are wearing armors, an armor set that gives us minus 40% cooldown reduction. The boots give us 5, the headpiece gives us 15, chest piece gives us 10, and the staff gives us 10. Uh, so, a total of 40. Next, we also have Logistics Expert, Expert, which gives us 10. Now we're at 50%. Because we have the Daredevil Breakthrough, once we drink our two Spiked Alertness Potions, or we use Probe in the Battlefield, we are now at 90%. And all that's required is you to drink an Energizing Potion, or a uh, Pumpkin Pie, whichever, to get the Energized Bonus. We now have 100% cooldown reduction. To showcase, everyone's favorite ability, Brace, has a 200 second cooldown. Well, not anymore. You can just spam Brace. I can just spam it. You're able to spam every single ability. This had a 15 second cooldown. Our E ability here has a 45 second cooldown. You're, it doesn't matter. You're, you're golden. Everything is, I cannot explain how cool this is. You are able to just keep going, keep smacking, and just nothing. The only thing you need to worry about is your stamina. <laughs> well, for mages as well, your, um, uh, your mana bar. So let me show you guys this in action. All right, let's give this build a shot. To 
honest, it is just a game changer. Got hit. I got hit. Always got to make sure you have your four stacks of prime Oops. before you use your abilities. Just like that. I used brace, I don't know, four or five times fighting this guy. And it's infinite. And as long as I have all of my skills buffed, I am able to use as many abilities as many times as I want. Pretty broken, guys. And yeah, you guys, you could, yeah, it, yeah. I don't, I, mean, I don't even have words for it. That's how just broken it is. Anyways, right on, guys. Cheers.